Physics of badminton. Woo. So, Whiskers, how did you get interested in badminton? My brother played badminton at his high school, and I look up to him. Me too. Woo! So, since you are the smart one, you can explain where badminton came from. Actually, Spot, badminton first came from ancient Egypt and Greece. Then it went from India, England, then the U.S. and Canada. And I mean, especially you. You're really oh, oh, smart. That sounds like oh, it's mail time. Here's the mail. Oh, it never fails. Oh, it makes me want to oh, whack my oh, tail. When it comes, I want to whack. <laughs> there are many ways it relates to science. There's kinetic energy, which is the energy an object has due to its motion. You can find a kinetic energy by multiplying one half times your mass times your speed squared. An example of it is a shuttlecock flying through the air a badminton racket being swung and a player running to hit the shuttlecock. The other concept is speed. Speed is the distance an object travels per unit of time. To calculate speed, you take distance divided by time. Badminton is the world's fastest racket sport. So, as our project, we dropped the ball and a birdie. The birdie fell slower than the ball because the birdie had more air resistance. Another concept is Newton's third law. Newton's third law states that for every action, there is a reaction. A badminton racket being swung is the action, and the shuttlecock going the opposite direction is the reaction. Another concept is gravity and gravitational potential energy. Gravity is a force that pulls objects toward each other. In badminton, gravity pulls the shuttlecock down so players can hit it back up. Gravity also keeps players on the ground. Gravitational potential energy is potential energy related to an object's height. The higher you hit the shuttlecock, the higher its gravitational potential energy is. To calculate GPE, you take the weight times the height. The next concept is fluid friction. Fluid friction is the friction that occurs when a solid object moves through a fluid. Air drag forces the shuttlecocks around its side to lead in the direction of travel velocity. The shuttlecock's feathers impart drag, which causes it to decelerate greatly over distance. A shuttlecock would have more drag than a ball with the same mass, yet less surface area. The last concept is tension. Tension is an elastic force that stretches and pulls matter. There is a tension force when a badminton racket hits the shuttlecock. The strings of the racket exert an equal and opposite tension force on the shuttlecock. For our experiment, we use a $15 racket and an $80 racket. As a result, the expensive racket had less bounce, which allows the player to control the hit better. Now you know how badminton relates to science, Miss Piggy.